Well, hi, everybody. I'm George Souza. And uh, I'm thrilled to be here with Beth and David Wildlife Pub on South Mill Street in Grass Valley. They're just doing a great job here of uh, putting on these events and trying to keep the spirits up. And anyway, I'm glad to be here. Thank you.
they they can't see that you're the you and I are the only ones in the room. So oh. it's a personal concert for everybody watching. So oh. there's, uh, so, there's hundreds of people in here. Yeah, they that's right. That's right. Well, exactly. Exactly. I do not need a phone in here. And I'm looking for picks, ladies and gentlemen. And let me remind folks, uh, if you want to uh, throw a tip in George's tip jar, you can do so at wildeyepub.com. And it says virtual tip jar there. You can pick a dollar or $20 or whatever you like, uh, anything in between. And it goes to George. And thanks so much for helping support live music and our local artists here in this crazy weird time. Uh, I'm going to play a finger-picking song from It's kind of in the... Jay Atkins kind of style, Jay Atkins, Will Travis. tell you a couple things um cindy gilmore says this is the next best thing to seeing georgie live and um ellen cheryl said thanks for the wonderful music she's in peru in a little village in sacred valley and she said when i get a little uh nevada city homesick i tune in thank you beth and george tonight wow. so she's watching from peru Amazing. john gardner is watching from sacramento while swinging in his hammock it's very nice i don't know if you know john drummer who's with our uh, Power of 12 for a while. Hi, John. Yeah. Jesse Love Bunny is watching. And uh, Chuck Dunn says, good to see you, Brother George. Stephen Holland says, hey there, George. I'm pouring myself a glass of wine, pulling up my easy chair and listening to you. What, you mean, what do you mean it's not happy hour yet? Sorry, we changed the hours to fit your show. <laughs> Very good. So you got about 18 people watching right now. Nice. Yeah. So um, can they hear us talking, me and you? They can hear us talking, oh. so you have to be family appropriate, so more or less. put the drugs in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> can people hear him okay when he talks off his mic like that? Let me know. Uh, and also, oh. everybody let us know if you need adjustments, sound adjustments. Oh, yeah. I forgot I have to talk to this. Yeah. Hey, anyway. 
There you, you go. You notice in that last song I played a, I recorded a thing and then played over it. It's called a looper. Everybody knows about this. <laughs> but you can you can record and then it plays by what you play, and uh, so then it can sound like two or more people. And there's these little digital guys in here. You only have to pay them once, and they don't drink. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting the usual amount of laughs. <laughs> well, I can only do what I can do, George. Uh, John says it sounds really good, no buffering, so it sounds nice. says I love you George. Say it again. I said Eleanor McDonald says I love you George. I love you too. It's probably a good time to say that Paul and Paul Cameron and Eleanor McDonald are doing a, one of these things tomorrow night. It's a fundraiser and benefit for the kind of homeless animals on the, on the Greek island of Skathos. Skathos. Yeah pull up that mic. And um, animals also are buried this time because there's no tourists going there. Anyway they're great and it's great for Best to do all this really cool stuff. All hang, right, I'm going to play. hang on, hang on. Um, you know, Debbie Knurl Simpson, she's got Eli, he's gonna text you a solo. I don't know what that means. Do you do text, George? Yeah, that's Eli. No. I, I didn't think so. I was gonna do you think this computer thing is really not on? <laughs> I think it is. No. Shut, come on, catch up, buddy. And then Courtney says she's raising a glass of PG cheers and good to hear you. By the way, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I have a well-deserved reputation for drinking, but amazingly, this is only water. Wow. Why are you so buzzy? Your, your computer's got a buzz, but you don't. Anyway. Okay.
Yay! <laughs> okay, uh, Jonathan and Margo Meredith said hello. Hi. And uh, Shireen and Jim Crowley love seeing you and we miss you. And Kira Donahue says, George, I love this, with lots of exclamation marks. So, people are tuning in. So nice, so nice. Yeah. Got 34 people watching right now. So that's that's more people than you can fit in Tux Bar, right? Yeah. 34? Okay. See if we can fill the room here virtually. Yes. Tennessee. This next song is a Tennessee Balls, which is a, one of the favorite songs of uh, uh, one, my friend Dan, Dan's mom, Florence. This is one of her favorite songs, and uh, this is for her. Remillard Galbraith gang says howdy and thanks for playing mom's song. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
How long have you been here? In this area? Yeah. Should I talk in here? Or sure. You know? No, you should talk in there. You can, yeah. Uh, hi. I first came out here in uh, the late 1800s. I used to play bass with Abraham Lincoln. That's a joke. <laughs> I started playing here in 1980 at Firefox and other places, and I moved here in 1986. Okay. And I've known Beth here for almost five years. A little more. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John Gardner said, that was really beautiful, loved it. So. Okay. I'm impressed with the use of technology there, George. No computer. <laughs> Don't do it. All right. Uh, Pete Mallory says, what up, Georgie? And, um, and yes. Pete Mallory. And uh, Stephanie Hayes says, hey, from Sacramento. Yes. Yeah, it's been kind of neat doing this. We've had people from all over the world. We'll have people from Hawaii, Switzerland, and New York, and just tuning in. This is kind of cool, yeah.
that mistake in the middle just to add some, some interest. I noticed that. <laughs> um, Close, but no cigar. No. Um, Debbie Lang says hi, and this is a great idea. And uh, Amy Goff says awesome, and lots of love from the East Coast. I don't know if that's right. Goff or Joff. Amy Joff. Goff. I'm going to say Goff. Correct me if I'm wrong, Amy. <laughs> this next one is one of my little songs. It's called Shelby. Okay. <laughs> Dan says, can we buy George a glass of wine? He seems a little tense when he's not playing. <laughs> Later. <laughs> okay, Dan. You're familiar with my work. <laughs> with you because some of these people who live cast are doing it by themselves like in their bedroom or something and they don't even have a clap track or a laugh track or anything and 
That's, that's, t that's a tough audience. Yeah, nobody, no response. It's just quiet room, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, As here's- I said, that's what always happens when I play. No <laughs> response. See? All right, um, Lise Welch says, George. And Bridget Bedell says, love you, George. Douglas Kennedy is here. B. Douglas Jensen says, you're the best, George. Uh, Barb and Roger say they are poolside with drinks in hand. Thanks and love you. Yeah, and um, day that's, Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's almost not day. Jonathan mm -hmm. Meredith says, George, sell me your hat. I want your hat. And uh, yeah, that's right. And Margot Meredith says, you're rocking out. And uh, Paul Cam says, sounds great, George. Really? Mm hmm Oh, good, because they were checking out the sound. Yeah. I'm, I'm a scouting person for that. See? I know it. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that Paul thinks it sounds great, because Paul, yeah. yeah. Paul and Eleanor will be playing tomorrow night. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, reminder, I, I'm posting a note now and then. This is Beth at the Wild Eye Pub, the invisible person you're hearing. Um, if you want to throw a few bucks into George's virtual tip jar, you can find that at wildeyepub.com. And you can pick any amount, a buck to 20 bucks, whatever you like, and throw it in there. Thanks a lot. It goes to support George, and uh, we're happy to be doing these live casts because, you know, we're kind of bored here. we got this big room and this stage and sound system, and what the heck, let's, let's socially distance and get a little music out there from our local wonderful folks. So happy to see George again, too. So, well, mostly. He's wonderful. And there's also that obnoxious thing, too. So that's all right.
Gregory Loop says he can hear you here in Calistoga. Yeah, and uh, Helene, do you want to say something about him? You want to talk some smack on Greg Loop? Who are we talking about? Greg Loop. Greg Loop. Another one of my good pals. You remember him, right? Yeah. We, by the way, we have so many great artists and musicians around here. I mean, a lot of places do, but we have an abundance. Great, great people, great artists. Uh, we're all doing our best. And and besides doing these live casts and things, a lot of our local artists have um, websites where you can buy their CDs, and uh, they probably even have gift certificates and stuff. But certainly CDs and uh, music and and some merch and stuff. So. You know, if you're thinking of local musicians, even we I'm seeing a lot on the list right now watching. You got 41 people tuned in right now live. Um, think about some of the local musicians that you love and miss and go check out their websites and, and uh, that's another way to support them. It's awesome. Um, and then Jeff and Gail Peach. Hi George, sitting at our bar drinking wine with you. And uh, and they're also thanking us for the Wild Eye Pub. So yeah. And then Helene Ginter. Sounds so familiar. Will come your way when free. Thanks for the memories. Nice. Okay. Jeff Peach wants to know if you know Freebird. Yeah. <laughs> no joke. I know. Uh, Bob. Chucky, Chucky Dunn? Just some Chucky? Ch some Chucky? Some Chucky. 
Uh, Bob Green says, love this. Your neighbors, Bob and Pam, enjoying this while relaxing ah. on the couch. Nice. Yep. That's like a, the virtual couch concert. That's cool. Uh, Diana Hill, beautiful George, sending you a big hug. And, and Debbie Lang is cheering. Yay! Nice. I wish there were vir virtual drinks. I guess there are. There are. Eventually here, I'm gonna take a micro break. A micro, yeah. To go to the bathroom, Beth's gonna give you some information and I might possibly find the bar. Uh, there you go. By the way, I, I, I'm sure she said, but uh, Beth and uh, David here at Wild Eye Pub, South uh, Mill Street, Grass Valley, they have takeout and curb service. I mean, do they, do they call up or how do, how do they order? Yeah, people just call us. Call they up or walk in or whatever. Yeah, we've got a menu on our Facebook yeah, cool. page that we update every I few mean, days. Like, like, a lot, like a lot of places here too, all our pals are places that are trying to do whatever they can. And our web is support. Yeah, absolutely. We all we all have to. It's 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 in right now. April Miranda says, love you, George. Who does? April Miranda. And uh, Jonathan says, tell a joke, George. <laughs> Can you swear? Well, this this will live on forever as a video. I don't know. How much swearing? I don't have any swearing. We, we got kind of a classy joint here, huh? <laughs> yeah, you think. I'm known for my terrible jokes. <laughs> My friend Mary really likes it when I tell a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> I don't know any clean ones. Okay, um, this guy walks into a bar, he's got a duck under his arm. The bartender says, hey, you can't bring that pig in here. The guy goes, it's not a pig, it's a duck. He says, I was talking to the duck. <laughs> get it. Uh, Marty, Marty Duradorian says, love you, George. Hi, Marty. I gotta get Marty in here. What's it gonna take? I don't know. I mean, just because I don't have a bar he can walk on. Ah, that's right, he's a famous bar walker. <laughs> that's right. So what did the giraffe say at the cocktail party? I High balls are on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, is, that, is this on? <laughs> yeah, it's on. This should be okay. Uh, is that Horace I see lurking in the background? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's Horace right here. There you go. All right. Horace is going to make an appearance on my second little thing. Cool. Horace is my guitar. I bought that guitar uh, 57 years ago. And uh, brand new. So there he is. He's going to show up here in a minute. 
<laughs> Dan Galbraith uh, says, Mary says, no, I don't. <laughs> change guitars. I'm going to change my outfit. I have my, my pink dresses in the dressing room. <laughs> okay then. M. Bernadette Bezzi says, I am dancing in my kitchen. Cheers to you, George. Carolee Whitman says, you rock, dear George. Danny said, Danny Badakavoli says, another break? Pretty <laughs> <laughs> funny. How are you doing, George? Good luck. Good to see you. Great to see you. Did you see the bottom of the room? Yeah. Great. Yeah. I thought, I thought you were like taking a break and leaving the stage. You won't be changing. No, I, I am. I just want to make sure this works before I. Oh, okay. All right. No, they're watching you. They're watching me. Yeah, you should talk while you're doing I'm that. Up. 
Thank you for that. We all appreciate This is a natural tune that you put on the neck of the guitar, but like everything else in my life, it's broken, so I have to hold it on the guitar. <laughs> a lot of things you don't want to know, but there's one. <laughs> Why is that horn sitting there? Huh? Why is that horn sitting there? Because it's, uh, it's going to get played here in a minute. Good. It's not just like musician decoration stuff? Yeah, it's a prop. Good. All right, well, that's all right, too. Sorry for this boring part. It's all right. I'll come back. Do you want me to stand in front of you and talk? What? I said, do you want me to stand in front of you and talk? Or I'll just talk off stage here. Yeah. Um, inviting people to um, check in with the Wild Eye Pub. We are mostly posting the live cast concerts we're doing on our Facebook calendar, but we are starting to update our calendar calendar again because we're adding a few more so if you're wondering what's going to be coming up in future live casts you can look on Facebook or you can look on our web calendar and uh, we mentioned a couple times we've got um, Paul Cam and Eleanor McDonald tomorrow night doing a fundraiser their second annual that they've done here for the cats of Skathos Greece uh, the strays that are there and need medical help and food and everything else um, they go every year and bring stuff for them, and this year they can't even be there for that, so they're virtually raising money and sharing it. Okay, all right, I'll just go up there and do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to use my mic? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It may not be on. I'm short. It's on. You're short. It's, it's good. Yeah, it shouldn't be on. Hi. Good enough. So, anyway, as I was mentioning, uh, they'll be here tomorrow night. Paul Cam and Eleanor McDonald doing uh, their second annual fundraiser here for the, the Stray Cats of Skiathos. So we, can, we hope you can uh, tune in for that. And of course, if you're watching this after the fact, you can always go to Paul and Eleanor's um, their website or their Facebook page. I think their website is Cam Mac. But just look, at them, look for them on Facebook and you'll find them there. Um, they do this fundraiser every year. They're running for their kids in Greece, and um, it goes a long way there. So, thanks for supporting that. Uh, Jordan will be back in just a minute. Um, let's take a quick break to change into his pink dresses, I think, but not sure. And uh, and also, if people want to, yeah, don't be gone too long, Mister. I'll come on right back. If people want to have uh, any food to go, you can call us. Look on our Facebook page. Um, we've got specials up, that kind of thing. We'll walk it out to our little, our little masks on. And I want to say thank you to um, Mariana. Look at these beautiful masks she made for us. She made a whole bunch of different ones. I call this one Circus Ball and Yellow and um, yellow Submarine print. So that's what it looks like to me. So give me a little spot to put a filter in right here. It's so good. But anyway, really cool filter. Um, really cool masks from Eleanor. So. So we'll use these and walk your meals out to you. Right, are you almost back? Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here so, we go. Sorry. <laughs> I just found my shoe. He just has to finish putting his pink dress on. He's coming back right now. So, um, okay, I guess that's it. And any of these that you're watching after the fact, you can still donate money to the artists and we will get, get it to them. And so thanks so much. All right, Toodles. Back to George. Did you want something from in there that I'm getting? There's nobody in there, that's fine. Okay. I'll get it later. Okay, well, if you know what it is, I'll get it now. But, okay. No, that's fine. All right. Ta da! He's back. I'm back. <laughs> uh oh. Eleanor, Eleanor said, can't hear you eat that mic. I should have, but now oh, I know. Sorry. And somebody says the sound is messed up, so I don't know if it's just because it was far away from me. Oh, for you or for everybody? For me, when I was on it, oh, there's feedback. Test, really? How about now? It's testing, okay. testing, testing. We'll find out. Somebody. Let, let us know if the sound is goofy. And we'll, we'll adjust. Hmm? And I said, and we will adjust. Okay. 
Okay, Danny Buttercavoli says, sounds good. And I'm gonna go with that. Thanks, Danny. Don't need it? No. Okay. Uh, anyway, hi, this is Horace. It's a Guild X500. It's the Guild version of an L5 jazz guitar, which I've had, as I said, many years. And this is a flugel horn. When I play it, it's a feudal horn. Come on, it's fun. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Do you want another? Do you want another surface up there? No. Okay. okay. All right. Um, right now, I'm going to play an original composition. It's called "Summertime." <laughs> womp 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 womp. <laughs> Once again, um, I was voted most annoying musician in Nevada County the last five years. <laughs> It took a long time to take over from Tom McDonald, <laughs> but I finally got it. <laughs> ah. All right. There's still some feedback. I don't know if you have any control up there or not. But feedback from what? I don't know. I'm not even on. All right. Uh, some something echoey. So I don't know if there's a an effect thing or. Even now. I I'll have to wait and see. No. We'll wait, we'll wait for another comment to come through. Jay Del Bono says, hello, rock on. Do that. 
said, hush, baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna sing a lullaby. I said, hush, baby, don't you weep. Mama's gonna give this song. Um, they're saying mostly it sounds great. Somebody's got something echoey, but most of the people are like, no, it's coming through good. So, and uh, Margo says pretty. Says what? Pretty. Pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, kids. Um, since I got cars on here, I'm going to play a jazz song. A uh, traditional song from years ago named Alone Together.
say, I will play the blues. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Hey Beth, how, so how often are you having people do these things? Well, a couple uh, times a week, one time a week? Yeah, one, two, three. Kind of it's kind of been going, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a great thing. Thank you. And uh, it goes without saying that the real important people are the nurses, doctors, health workers, all those guys that are doing the, the, all the real work. And we're all rooting for them. Yes. There you have it. Absolutely. And uh, Amanda and Nate Snellgrove say hello. Uh -huh. And Cindy Alexander says, yay! <laughs> Coulter says he loves you. And Carl Mansell says, yay! Nice. Well, I'll play a couple more, is that okay? Yeah. It's uh, 620, just so yeah. you know. Okay. 
Walter Webb says he makes it look so easy, mighty fine. Mighty fine. Okay, kids. And Joellen Hill says, good to see you, Georgie. Nice. I'm gonna do uh, another finger picker. This song is by Lyle Lovett, fabulous singer from Texas. I actually lived in Austin years ago in the early 70s. Anyway, um, here we go. <laughs> Kathy Whittles, he's watching. She said, is this at the Brass Rail or the cafe? Is that where she's used to seeing you, at the Brass Rail? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's in, <laughs> isn't that in North San Juan? This is, is the Wild Eye Pub. I told her. <laughs> One eye that's wild, not eyed. That's right. Actually, you, you can't see it, but there's a wild eye looking at me right now, and I'm a little frightened. I could switch it around, but that's I'm not going to, yeah. I'm going to play one more song and thank David and Beth so much. Wild Eye Pub, South Mill Street. Or just Mill Street. 535. Mill Street. What is it? 535. 535 Mill Street. And um, I'm thrilled to be here just to do something semi-useful. 
Um, I want to. I usually end with this song. It's an old song from the early '60s. It's by Santa and Johnny, not Santa and Johnny. Well, that's a common mistake. It's called Sleepwalk. <laughs> Was it take the brown acid or don't take the brown acid? <laughs> How to be ready for this pandemic. <laughs> uh, I was going to say something political, but I'm not political. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. Apparently, if you inject Drano into your bloodstream, you'll be fine. Okay, um, the owners of the Wild Eye Pub and everybody associated disavows everything George just said. So <laughs> we're just gonna, yes. Yeah, 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 that was a joke. Yeah. No, right. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> All right, walking away. Walking away. And back to the walking music. Walking away from the statement. Yes, back to the music. All right. And we love you guys so much. Thanks. Sorry, kids. Sorry I had to hear this. Kathy Gilman says, great to see you, Georgie. Thank you to, oh, and thanks to us for the great uh, online concerts. Yes. And uh, Jeff, Jeff Peach says, is it kamikaze time? Probably. Yeah. I'll be drinking with all my friends as usual, which I guess is just Beth and David <laughs> and the lovely bartenders. And I'm and I'm about a hundred day, days no drinking, like really? tomorrow or so. Yeah, I'm just taking a break, you know. I'm I'm a bar owner now. It's like it's a job hazard or something. So yeah.
good thing to come out of this. Thanks very much. All right. And just reminding everybody, you can uh, throw a few bucks in George's tip jar at wildeyepub.com if you want to. And um, don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for Paul and Eleanor. All right. Thanks.